So let's open the Nettle Pro hardware. Once open the box, here is an instruction card from setuping and the link of the iOS and Android applications on first step guide. And here is the package itself. It shows the serial numbers, model numbers, and uh, application uh, QR code and testing is on cables and stickers and AC adapters. Let's look in deeply about the Netura Apple hardware. It's a power switch and size is so small and uh, link LED and activity LED and battery LED and it's nice for carbon strap field and there is a uh, two ports uh, one is reset pins and power usb -Cs and communication usb -Cs and testing ethernet are the 45 ports let's go on so let's demonstrate netur io pro versions now i try netur io pro 2 you can download applications via app stores or google play and so on in this time, let's try Netflix IO Pro 2. Open the applications and you can just press the power button for 5 seconds. And wait for a while and press the device buttons. We can control Netflix devices via Wi Fi or Magicat DNS or Cloud, or easiest way is using Bluetooth. Bluetooth is low bandwidth, so some function is limited, but we can control networks easily. So press Netflix Pro and check the screen. Main screen is information. You can check NIC status and address and so on. Let's try this demonstration network. Just plug into RJ45 and connect cables like that. It starts scanning. Then, mix status up, getting IP address from DHCP servers, V4 and V6 address, and default gateways and DNS servers and subnet mask. DHCP servers, DHCP domain name if there, and DHCP list times and public IP address. It means the outside address of your local ad area network. And if there is an intelligent devices near your network, you can easily check your VLAN IDs and port name. This time, there is a Aeronet. 7050i so we can check the gigabit ethernet interface and management address is 122 168 103 and alias name of access point is a piece and we can check the um, ntp information um, cisco aeronet 7002i and we can check the ping test uh, using at uh, gateway address and switch managing port and internet test too. Uh, we can also uh, check the HTTP and HTTPS connection test. It's so easy. And we can configure these devices such as switch configurations, app scanning, spanning, getting spanning tree information and discovery packet details, port and cloud and other information too. And if there is some switch configurations, we can configure and tag the VLAN, tag the VLANs and configure devices with SSH using if then uh, statements. This is very useful if you are setting up your customers or your companies network and you can use some intelligent switch like Cisco Catalyst, Juniper and so on. 
This time there is a, uh, no intelligent devices, so we can try another functions. Net tool has a two mode. One mode is switch discovery mode, and other mode is capture mode. We can change both modes via configurations. We can change this slide on and capture to pick up mode and press apply. Then net tool start to rebooting and uh, we can connect again uh, via Bluetooth again. And we need to ready some USB-C based USB memory for just USB A type with USB connect uh, USB C connectors. And we can connect this side communication port. This one is charging port. So connect the device. Okay. And check connecting via NetTool Pro via Bluetooth. And wait for a while. Uh, it may take 30 seconds or one minute to load the setting. Now, uh, NetTool boot again and the mode changed from switch mode to pick up capture mode. Uh, we can check the file names and pick up size and time out. We can check change these configurations uh, timer settings go back and USB drive for space size oh, and we can use capture filter capture filter is just used as a protocol uh, but we can put for example using FTP we can capture F only FTP twice five anyway uh, set filter do nothing and start capturing press start buttons to start capturing and wait for a while i think there is a few broadcast or multicast in this time so it may take some seconds so let's press stop to finish capturing then uh, we can easily pull off usb memories and connect my PC. Open Explorer like this. Here is a new packet. Uh, this time it is the latest one. Maybe, maybe this one. So uh, not this one. Maybe this one. So double click this and open Wireshark. We can easily check multicast. Uh, DNS and link layer discovery protocols, SSTP discovery, DHCPs, and app requests, and uh, LLM and so on easily. It is very useful when you want to capture uh, without PC easily. So you can change these settings via just changes up. Uh, network mode from pick up to switch discovery mode and press apply net tool is rebooting and we can change from pick up mode to um, default switch discovery mode so i recommend to have net tools for your troubleshooting or your network discovery and so on Thank you very much for watching.